you guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new, my name is Courtney. Today I am sharing some easy DIY gift ideas for you. I hope you'll enjoy. Most of these items come from the Dollar Tree that you can transform into something really awesome. So let's get started. This DIY has been something I wanted to make for a long time. We are making a really fun custom candle with supplies from Dollar Tree. You're gonna need two of these plain white candles from Dollar Tree, some wax melts. I picked up all fruit scents. You'll see why in just a minute. A spoon from Dollar Tree as well as a glass bowl from Dollar Tree. Now I am also using these silicone molds that I had as well as some wicks that I had, but you can purchase those for very cheap on Amazon. Your first step here will be to go ahead and melt the wax down. So for one candle, you're going to need two of these tall white ones. My daughter was making a candle with me, so that's why you'll see four in there. So we're gonna go ahead and put these in a pot of water over medium high heat until they get nice and melted. For the wax melts, I just grabbed a skillet and some glass ramekins and I put the pieces of wax inside of those and then same thing, medium high heat and you're just gonna let those melt down all the way. While the wax is melting, go ahead and prep those bowls simply by taking your wick and placing the sticker on the bottom of your wick and then placing the sticker on the center of the bowl. Make sure that you wipe out your bowls with some rubbing alcohol to make sure they're nice and clean. At this point, my son kind of took over my candle and so him and my daughter were both working on this project and they really had a lot of fun. Now that the wax is all melted, you need to fish out the wicks out of these, then grab one of the candles and pour it directly into one of the bowls. Then grab a second candle and you're gonna pour about three fourths of the second candle into your bowl. So as you see here, I've got all the wax in there. I did insert the metal spoon before I sort of started pouring the wax. I also wrapped that wick around a metal skewer to keep it from falling and getting stuck in the candle where I didn't need it to be. For the colored wax, the easiest way I found to do this was to use a spoon and just spoon it directly into the molds. While all of the wax was drying, I was ready to create the custom tag for my candle. I started a new project in Cricut Design Space and then went to their images and just typed in the word tag and searched through the tons and tons of images, selecting some of the ones that I really liked. Once I had the selection of tags, then I went through and process elimination and got rid of the ones that I just really, I guess, didn't like as much. This is the winner that I picked, and this is what's going to be cut on my Cricut Maker 3. Now for the text. I wanted to type the words rise and shine, so I typed those out, went ahead and centered this as well as pulled the line spacing in by just clicking that line space button so that the words weren't so far apart. Then I went through all the tons of fonts and picked a font that I like. Now the main thing here is that I made sure that this font wasn't gonna be cut out but it was gonna be written with the pen so that I needed to make sure that I had draw selected for my font and that's just at the top left corner and I set that on top of my tag. From there, I just selected both of these. You need to group them together. Then I attach them to make sure that the text would actually write on the tag and then you're ready to send it to your machine and print it out. Now 
now that the milk is dry in our bowl, we're ready to add our Fruit Loop cereal. So now you know why I picked fruit scents for the wax melts. There's two ways you can do this. The first way is to take your Fruit Loops and go ahead and just set them directly on top, spread them about, leave them be, and you know they'll kind of melt down, do their thing as the candle burns, up to you. Another option is once it is dried, go ahead and pour the, that last bit of wax. Remember how I told you in that second one, only use about three fourths of it pour the rest of that it'll make one kind of thin layer over the top of the cereal bowl then set these fruit loops inside of it and it will look like they're floating inside of the cereal bowl The last step is to tie up your custom tag to the handle of the spoon and then this fruity cereal candle is ready to go I grabbed this two pack of black gloves for this next DIY gift idea and what I wanted to do with them was go ahead and put a quick little monogram on them. So a gift idea that's always really welcome with people is something monogrammed, whether it be gloves, scarf, or even a hat. For the monogram, I decided I wanted to put her initials, I want, which happened to be EE. -E. So I'm gonna put an E on one glove and an E on the other. And I wanna just do a small little symbol, nothing fancy. I didn't wanna just do the letter. So I grabbed the heart shape and then typed in an E and found a font that I liked. And then what I wanted to do was I wanted to actually cut out the E shape within the heart, which is really simple and easy to do. You simply take your heart, size it to where you need it to be, take the E, set it on top, Go ahead and select both items and get them nice and centered by going to the uh, line button and just uh, I usually click the horizontal one and it'll get it nice in the middle and then you could also do the vertical one as well center vertically. Once you get that done you're going to go ahead and select it again and then the bottom right corner you're going to hit slice and what that does is it makes the E basically slice through that heart and so you can pull the pink E off. I'll pull Pull the black E off and I'm left, there you go, with the heart with an E in it. I sent my design to my Cricut. The main thing you have to remember about working with iron-on is to toggle on that mirror on selection when you are about to cut out your image. So once I got that cut out, I warmed up my glove with my mini press and then set my heart down, took a piece of parchment paper. I just like to go ahead and put that on top of my design. And then I'm pressing for about 30 seconds. I'm gonna let it cool a little bit and then I should be able to pull it off. And then each of these gloves will have her initials, one on the left, one on the right, which makes it really nice because if she happens to lose one, it'll have an E on it instead of just having an E on one of the gloves. Keychains are another great gift idea, and I love this pack of acrylic keychains that I found on Amazon. It came with a ton of the little acrylic blanks, as well as the keychain portion and the jump rings, as well as a small bag of all kinds of colors of tassels. These acrylic, when you're working with them, just remember that it does have a protective tape on them, so you definitely need to make sure you peel that off when you're working with it. I'll be using permanent vinyl to attach this to my keychain. Keychains are also a great stocking stuffer idea. And again, you could make them as custom as you want. But for me, I just went ahead and picked two colors that I could layer. One was a red blobish scribble scrabble look. I don't know how to describe that. And then the other one, I just typed out my daughter's name, Bailey, weeded them out, and then I just applied the red blob first and then her name directly on top attached my hardware to it, added the tassel, and then this keychain is ready to go.
With travel starting to pick up again, a luggage tag is another great gift idea that you can make. You could add it to a, perhaps a new piece of luggage, a backpack, a bag. This one came from the Dollar Tree and I'm doing the same simple technique that I did before with some layering of permanent vinyl. I found a pink squiggly swishy thing <laughs> and I set that down first and then I went ahead and did my own initials because honestly I did need a new luggage tag. Any guesses as to what my middle name is? Take a guess down below. I'd love to see what you guys think and that's it this one is finished a quick DIY in under 10 minutes Earrings are always a great item to make with your Cricut because you can use all kinds of materials. And today, this one is gonna be with some wood veneer. Now these earrings I actually made last year, but I wanted to show them to you again in case you missed it. But you could use a leather. I'll show you some in just a second with that. All kinds of earrings. So for this, I'm gonna start with a strong grip mat and a piece of the veneer from Cricut. I'm gonna set it down on the mat and tape it down with some painter's tape. The next important step is to change out your blade to the deep blade. Now, when I organize my blades, I just have them all in this little, uh, I don't know, Tupperware container thing and labeled. It just makes it easier for me to find the blades that I need. But once you've got that done, you're ready to go. You're gonna roll it into your Cricut machine and print out your designs. So for this, it's a two-step process. I had to cut out the wood veneer shapes, which is, I guess, the back of my earrings. And then I cut out a design out of gold permanent vinyl to put on top of the wood veneer. The last step for the earrings is to attach the hardware. I got this huge pack. It comes in all these different shades of hardware. It has got the jump rings and the backing and all the good stuff that you need. I'll link everything I can down below in the description box and then go ahead and attach the hardware to these. What's really awesome about them is you can make these custom. If you know somebody and what they particularly like, then it just makes it extra special by making them something. You can also, like I mentioned, cut some leather earrings. So here is a pair of leather earrings and I made a little card using my Cricut to put them on. So this is another great item if you wanted to sell something, perhaps make a little extra money for the holiday season. Making earrings definitely would help that. Now, another way you could package your earrings instead of just putting them on a custom card that you make is in a little bag. For this little bag, this is just something super simple, another little idea for you on how you could package this up. I used some infusible ink and I, you treat it like iron-on. So you mirror your image and you iron it on to the bag. And what I love about these little cinch bags is that I like to take these when I travel because I don't like to sleep with my rings on or my earrings on. I usually put them on the nightstand and this little bag is perfect that if you give somebody something, they could you know, use this little bag and travel and they can keep their rings in it and put it where they won't go flying off the nightstand and you're looking all over for it in a hotel. You know what I'm saying. But anyway, a custom little bag, you could put their name, you could do an image, you could do a picture. But again, I just use some infusible ink heat pressed it on there with my easy press and it just kind of personalizes the I guess gift wrapping portion of the actual gift. Another great DIY gift idea is something for the kitchen, whether it's a mug, a tumbler, a platter, or in this case, a cutting board. Whether it's wooden or glass, I'm going with this glass one because I did find this at Dollar Tree and it's nice and cheap. Originally, my plan was to monogram this and etch with a stencil that I cut out on my Cricut, but I could not find my etching cream, so I'm gonna go with plan B. But before I do that, I need to go ahead and get my design ready to go. So I went into Cricut Design Space, I just typed in the letter G. This is gonna be for my in-laws. They love fruit, so I figured they could use this cutting board to help them cut the fruit, and I put together my image. Now, this is gonna be going on the underneath side of this cutting board, which means I am going to have to mirror it. If I was putting it straight on top of the cutting board, I didn't, I wouldn't need to do that, but since it's going underneath, I will need to hit that mirror on. I made sure that the cutting board was nice and clean by rubbing 
out, uh, by rubbing rubbing alcohol all over it, applied my stencil, and then I decided to go ahead and use paint. Now I'm using the Arteza Outdoor Paint, and the reason I'm using this one is it has a built-in sealer and I can dab it on there. I'll do a couple of coats. I'm using these oral swabs that I just picked up in a huge pack on Amazon for, I think it was a hundred for like $9. I will link them down below. It's cheap, it's easy. You just throw them away when you're done. I'm gonna dab the paint on there and then let it dry most of the way and pull off my stencil. Once the stencil is off, you certainly could go over the back with a coat of the Dishwasher Safe Mod Podge, but because this is the acrylic outdoor paint, I'm gonna let it cure for 72 hours and it should be good to go. Now I wanted to throw in a couple of DIYs that I actually have done in years past that I made as gifts and gave to people. They really liked them, so I thought it was worth sharing them again. For this DIY, I started with a clearance sign that I picked up from Hobby Lobby, painted the, gra the, black the background white as well as the frame, and then on my Cricut I typed out the words lost stockings and printed it with some red vinyl. I found some gingerbread men that had the ribbon strung through them. They actually have them at Hobby Lobby this year as well in the miniature ornament section. I yanked out the ribbon and hot glued these gingerbread men to some clothespins and then hot glued the clothespins directly to my sign. From there, it was just fun going out and shopping for some warm fuzzy socks. Now Dollar Tree has tons of fuzzy socks, so you could probably find everything you need at Dollar Tree. But if you wanna get some different styles and characters, you could go to different stores, clip them on there, and then give this to somebody, obviously, who likes warm fuzzy socks. I know somebody on YouTube who likes that, and that would be Jennifer from Little Bit of Common Crazy. She loves socks. But there you go, a quick and easy, fun little idea of a way to gift wrap the socks, but also have it in a cute little sign. Now this gift went over really well, especially with teachers. I did end up adding a little extra stuff to it, but to start, grabbed one of the mini wooden trays from Dollar Tree and painted the entire thing red. Then went in to Cricut Design Space, found an image that I like and printed out the milk and cookies image in white permanent vinyl and attached it to my tray. From there, it was just a matter of putting them in a cute bucket. The bucket, the Santa bucket came from Dollar Tree. I put baking items in it. This year, Dollar Tree has some cute little silicone spatula, spatulas with gingerbread men on it. And I mean, really cute little things that you could also put in there. But then I also added a gift card to the Nestle Cookie Company. You could do American, uh, Great American Cookie Company or any cookie company that you might have around your house, crumble cookies, whatever, and add a gift card to this basket as well but this is a great little gift basket for anybody who loves to bake This DIY is going to be for all of your hot chocolate loving friends, coworkers, neighbors, family members. I started by taking one of the Dollar Tree chalkboard signs and attaching a cute image I found in Cricut Design Space. To finish off the sign, I took some red and white baker's twine and tied it up at the top. Then it was a matter of just pulling together this gift. Now, if you like to make the hot cocoa bombs, this would be a great thing that you could add to this. Instead of putting the little box of hot chocolate I did, you could do your hot cocoa bombs in here and add that as well as your peppermint sticks, a mug that you might make if you'd like to do that as well. But again, another cute and easy gift that's inexpensive that you can pull together and has a little bit of a customized sign and some fun elements in it.
This DIY gift idea is super easy. You just need to grab some iron-on vinyl. I'm working with the gold sparkly and some of the placemats that Dollar Tree has. Fabric ones are the ones that I'm working with. I cut out some names and I made sure to hit the mirror on image. I pressed my placemat first with a little bit of heat, set my name down and then pressed it again following the directions on the time. 315 for 30 seconds and that's it this is a great gift to give to a hostess to neighbors to a friend and you can gift wrap it with some of the cute boxes from dollar tree And there you have it, several DIY gift ideas that you can whip out and give to someone that you know. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I really, really appreciate it. Let me know down below which one of these gift ideas was your favorite idea or one that you might try, or do you have another great quick and easy DIY gift idea to recommend? As always, guys, I really appreciate you watching and supporting my channel. Here are some more videos you might enjoy, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.